Yeah, and I think it'd be cool. it's it'd be wise to you know have some sort of categories page so you're able to bucket everything so and then have your yeah. library content library and then the landing yeah. page itself because we want people to be able to search say for example foster care and have A B C D E F G X Y Z everything on there but then have be able to nail it down really specific so that somebody that's searching for it that you can kind of strike a chord with them and then maybe even you know like at the end of the day what you're really trying to do is get people to tech, take that leap right to take right. to kind of get that education and training to be able to do something that they're passionate about and i think right. that takes a little bit of encouragement um and then we run into the trip campaigns of content distribution of once they sign up or if they just do a subscription or they sign up for free okay how are we how are we filtering that next step too to make sure that we're nurturing them with quality not just with a sales pitch you know what i mean after what nate was talking about really what we want to figure out is the structure of the page not just because based on what people are searching it's important you know the design element of it but also you know where it's linking to and why if you have everything already on other servers you don't need to bring anything on then really you can keep the stuff off site and you can do what's called an iframe and just like a window view that comes right through on that page but in reality you want to keep them on a certain like a subfolder that way, mm -hmm. when they go to make the purchase or process the transaction, it's not being done on site, if that makes sense. And that way, it'll keep your costs so much lower, your data so much lower, and then the user experience shouldn't shouldn't have any hiccups. So that's kind of my two cents. Yeah, really yeah. good point. Really good point. Because a lot of those um, learning centers, the really good ones, they're going to have your hosted payment systems. You're not going to have to deal with PCI compliance. Right. Right. Yeah. All that stuff's yeah. a pain to deal with. Then to answer your question a little bit too, you know, how do you get people to find you? And Nate mentioned this before. I know we're like 90 mile an hour fastballs at you right now. So we'll get it organized. But it comes back down to search intent, right? You know, we can have certain pages that rank for certain things or maybe people search for the most, but it's like, you know, it's where strategy really comes into play. So do we want to rank for trauma-based education or do we want to rank for somebody that's specifically searching for, I need trauma-based education, right. right? And so mm -hmm. you can come up with other keywords like that to add to the page to add to headings, to add to right. pieces of the paragraph, like mm -hmm. I know a friend that needs it or social worker, we can add these little keywords and have a section that enhances those search phrases and brings them to your site. And then like Nate was saying, the ones that are really, really specific, instead of I want or what are trauma-based education or centers or help, now we're talking about buy. How do I download? How do I purchase? How do I sign mm -hmm. up for a consultation? Those are the keywords we bid on for ads. And in most cases, when you really have a really good strategy, like that your competition doesn't do that they're just more of uh, a wide net approach and when you're when you're really detailed you can control what people are clicking on then measure it and say okay where is this click going start small and you, you may not gotta spend a little bit of money but while that seo is picking up steam after we build it search engines are seeing it and users are coming on site and google tracks their time on site how many pages they view how many clicks they have what they look at they track all that stuff it helps them analyze what's quality right and so while that those numbers are building you can spend a little bit of money and get people on for the high clicks make some money have a high return and then start building some more so this kind of mm -hmm. just comes down to the strategy there's just a lot of yeah. ways we can go about it. we just got to put our heads together wow yeah that's good so there's a big difference yeah ju just think about it like if, if you if you want to rank for drain cleaning like we do a lot of plumbing stuff right so you can do two blogs on drain cleaning why should i do drain cleaning how do i do drain cleaning or steps to do it but what if you did 10 blogs on Bathroom drains, how to clean bathroom drains, what are the problems with bathroom drains, bathtub drains, sink drains, what are oh. the common <laughs> issues, what are the common parts, you know, we're talking about you do all these blogs, you do podcasts about it, you make a slideshow about it, you do all these things, you build up your authority, it's oh. just a matter of time before you dominate, because not everybody likes the same types of content, so yeah, yeah. we have to yeah, figure that, out what that is. Yeah, that... Yeah, you're hitting all the main ones. The biggest difference between, you know, when you hire guys like that, and I used to kind of do talks like this, just the difference of contractors and internal, and there's pros and cons with each. But when it comes with you paying somebody a lot of money to do something like that specific, they're going to kind of want to tell you how to do it. But with Nate and I, like, we really want to do it the right way. And yeah. just to add right. to what one of those things that he mentioned too that I really want to dial in is like, where where's the current start? What what target audience gets gets the river flowing, if you will? Um, and you know, you have people interested in foster, people ready to do foster, right? Maybe people, that's two totally different markets, but by the way. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and yeah, then people over, overwhelmed by foster, Right? right and then you have your ref whole referral network which is another thing but what about foster kids you know what about they're online you know yeah. wh where are they at what are they doing what programs are they in you know what problems are they having that they maybe need somebody to just talk to or maybe some advice oh, what I if they share what if they told them 
So really like, where's the opportunity and how do we present that to you now and then come up with a game plan? Because unless we're all on the same page and we're like, yeah, that's it, then it just makes it really difficult to do something like this. Mm-hmm. And so we take a lot of time on the front end to make sure. I think the curveball is just the e-commerce element of it is what, what do, how do we want to process this? Where can we process it? And like, honestly, where can we save you money? And then what's the most efficient and be able to kind of compare and contrast those. But Nate has pretty straightforward developing prices once we figure that out. So oh, okay. Better. Yeah, yeah, I would want to do some research because, you know, we're marrying a system, right? So we yeah. all have to agree that, hey, this is our wish list and this is the, yeah. the software that best accomplishes that wish list. So mm-hmm. that that mm-hmm. in itself, that could take, you know, two weeks to 30 days, depending on how hard we go with it. And I want to do demos like I want to sit on a, a demo call with you guys if these guys have demos or I may need to develop the right. demo, demo myself if they don't offer them, which is I need right. to dig into the software maybe even do a paid 30 day trial, fill it out and maybe just build out a few sample courses, right? Not, not get crazy. And, but I would much rather do that because I've seen companies say, Oh, we love this CRM. We're going to do this. They immediately get in and they hit this massive roadblock and like, well, yeah. our business won't even work without this functionality. This software won't work for us. And that happens often. Some, sometimes you can, you can contract little things out that don't necessarily need to be a big deal. As long as you have okay. uh, cohesion, you know, where everybody is, is moving in the same direction. Okay. And so it's kind of something that we like to add into because, you know, we don't like to, to be a puppet masters on everything. And I think we try to just tighten up the proposal as much yeah, as we can. That's great.